All right, in this video, we're gonna do a quick down and dirty uh, showing a demonstration of how to multiply uh, a multi-digit number by a single digit right now. And it's just down and dirty. I'm not gonna go into great detail as to why. Uh, that's all the other videos. So really this is wrapping up a whole series of videos. So uh, let's get started. And the idea is um, we're gonna solve 124 times six in two different ways. The partial products way, where we write down the products below and then add and then the more traditional way and maybe we'll even add a little bit of bonus and help students and help parents and teachers see the relationship between the partial products method and the traditional method so uh, let's get started here now with the partial products method uh, we are going to uh, multiply and write our products down below and we're not going to bother about carrying all right so it's kind of an, a really nice way to think about it so i want you to think of this as um oh, where do i want to go here uh so i want you to think of this as 100 20 and 4. so if we wanted to we could even write that 120 and 4 all right just as a kind of a, a reminder of what 124 means it's 100 20 and 4 all right so when we multiply 6 times 4 we're multiplying 6 times 4 <laughs> so that's pretty boring <laughs> so that answer is 24 all right now here is where it gets fun uh, when we now multiply 6 times 2 we're not really doing 6 times 2 we're really doing 6 times 20 so 6 times 20 gives us 120 and so I'm going to write that down here. And then lastly, when we do 6 times 1, we're not really doing 6 times 1. We're really doing 6 times 100, which gives us 600. And now it's time for me to add. And we add all of these together. And we get, and let's see, um, 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4. And then 1 plus 6 is 7. So that's 744. Now connecting that to the traditional um, algorithm over here, we've got that two, uh, 6 times 4 right here. So that's going to be 24. But we know um, 24 can be cashed in to be two additional 10s plus the four ones left over. So we're gonna do the 24, carry that two for the two tens. Now we've got six times two tens, that's gonna be 12 tens, plus two more, so that's gonna be 14 tens. So that 14 tens means we're gonna have four tens left over plus one additional hundred, because we can cash in 10 of those 14 hundreds. And then lastly, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is our 7, so there's our 700. Now, uh, you should be able to see an occasional um, back and forth connection here. Uh, when we multiplied 6 times 4 to get 24, we wrote the 2 up here and carried the 4 down here. All right, carried the 2, wrote down the 4 right here. Well, there's our 24 right here. And, but instead of carrying the two, we're just putting it into the next column over, 24. And, uh, and then similarly, when we did 6 times 2 to get 12 and then added 2 to get 14, well, here it is. It's right here. Here's our 6 times 2 to get 12, and then we added 2 to get our 14, and then the 4 showed up down here, right? So it's really kind of you're starting to see connections between these two. Uh, let's just multiply one last problem as a just traditional algorithm, simple, straightforward. So let's do 237 times 8, All right? Following that traditional algorithm, 8 times 7 is 56, so we are going to carry this the five and write down the six and we've got eight times three tens so that's going to be 24 tens plus five more so that's going to be 29 tens which means we can write down the nine tens and carry the two uh, into the hundreds column and then lastly eight times six is 16 plus two is 18 so there is our answer for uh, 20, 237 times 8 is 1,896. And, and, and that's just a 
down and dirty method of multiplying. I tried to show you a little bit of partial products and then connect that to the, here's our partial products, and I tried to connect that to the traditional algorithm, but this video is really focusing and summarizing uh, our understanding of the traditional algorithm.